hey there, my name is Andrew. I'm gonna show you a quick demo of how the help migration experience um, to Jira Service Management works. So this is my Slack instance. I have a help channel, this is public. This is where uh, your team would be asking questions like, hey, what's the Wi-Fi password? Let's just create a ticket real quick. So you can see that um, this ticket is still inside help. Um, and it's connected to this triage channel um, called triage channel to be migrated. The migration experience is pretty straightforward. We put a lot of effort to make this really painless for you, but there are a few steps. Um, so first go to um, your help instance on the web. So in my case, help EOS testing .hop .com. Uh, There's a new navigation item on the left um, called migration home. From here, it'll tell you um, how many queues you've migrated. So the first step is to uh, connect your site to Atlassian. I've already connected it, but if you haven't done this, um, you can go sign up for a new Jira service management account. It'll put you on a free trial. It's also free for um, up to three agents. So you can play around with this and get it working before you onboard your whole team as well. Um, and then each queue can be done separately. Uh, so one thing that you can do actually is go create a new queue that's just a, um, a test queue and migrate that over first before moving everything else over just so you can experience what it's like. Once you're ready, you can go to your queue view, uh, pick one that hasn't been, been migrated, and you'll see this banner at the top. Um, there's also a new navigation. Uh, so either way, you can go there. It'll take you to the screen that'll tell you exactly what to do. So we've already connected to our last site. That was from that first page. The next step is to uh, create a new service project. So don't do this within JSM. Um, let our migration experience do this for you. So we'll select our Atlassian site. Um, let's call this um, Team Awesome. And then call that Team. Let's create the service project. All right, almost there. So this is creating that service project and it's also moving over all of your forms and fields so you don't have to customize it at all. Uh, the next step is inviting your, your agents. Um, so I have this, um, I have one user that I want to move that person over. Uh, if you have more, it will do it for you as well. You can always do that later if you're not quite ready to add all of your agents. And then a few warnings just um, to remind you um, what's going to happen during the migration experience. Um, and at this point, this is when all of your tickets will start to go to JSM instead of going just to help. What's really cool is the, the experience doesn't change at all for your end users. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But this is just for your agents. They'll be using JSM um, to triage tickets instead of using the help web interface. Um, Okay, we're connecting our request types. Awesome, and we're done. So that was pretty quick. Um, there is an optional step. If you want to migrate your tickets, you can do that too. Let's click this, see what happens. Um, I'm just going to move over my open and in-progress tickets. You can also include all of your closed tickets too if you want that for historical uh, purposes. Awesome. So we migrate tickets in the background. If you have um, hundreds or thousands of tickets, this might take a little bit. Um, so we will notify you inside Slack when that is all finished. But let's jump over to see. Oh, cool. So um, my ticket already was migrated. So um, you'll notice that this URL is no longer linking to help. It is now looking to Jira Service Management. So let's go there. And uh, we can see the messages are right there. Um, and if I were to reply here, it would then sync back to that ticket. Let's also create a new ticket. All right, and there we go. Our new tickets are um, over in Jira Storage Management. One new uh, thing that your end users have is this web portal view. So help never had this ability, but now your end users will see a link so that they can actually view their ticket within um, the web and reply from there if they choose to as well. And 
that's it. Feel free to reach out to our team if you have any other questions. Cheers.